The Gadget is Secular. Hello and welcome to another episode. <sighs> well, thank you so very much for joining me today, stopping by the channel. Beautiful day uh, where I am today. I pray that uh, it's beautiful where you are and you're having a great day. So, anyway, today we are taking a look at the Helicute Wave Razor. And this one I really, really like. I like it because of the build quality uh, and it's priced well. And it kind of reminds me of the old Hubson X4. Uh, quadcopters. I actually never, I've never owned a Hubson, any Hubson, but uh, I've always heard great things about them, and it kind of has that same sort of look. So, so yeah, so let's take a look at this. So it has altitude hold, it has Wi-Fi FPV, um, it has a 720p camera, and as you can see here, it has kind of a wide angle lens. It is pretty wide. And the quality of the video is actually pretty good. It's pretty crisp. Uh, I wouldn't say it's, you know, full HD. It's really soft around the edges. Uh, and the pictures come off kind of grainy. They're okay. I mean, it's about what you, what you get out of most quadcopters in this uh, sort of price point and in this range. Uh, but I found the video to be really, really good and the uh, Wi-Fi feed to be pretty solid as well. Um, so I really like this. okay the other good thing about it is it uh, it takes a micro SD card here so make sure you can see that and now by virtue of that when you record you're not recording through the Wi-Fi signal you're recording right to the ST SD card so you don't get that lag the quality is a little bit better uh, as well so that's really good I really like when they do that okay and it also has one key return and uh, headless mode so we'll look at that uh, as a matter of fact, let's uh, let's take a closer look at the uh, quadcopter, then we'll take a look at the controller in a minute. Okay, so as you can see, it has these uh, built-in prop guards. Now, you can remove these if you want, um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it on. I think it looks pretty cool this way, and it, it didn't really affect flight performance for me that much. You'll see, this one isn't a super fast uh, sporty flyer. It, it kind of prods along pretty good. It, it, gets, uh, it picks up speed pretty good in the high rate. Uh, but you'll see, uh, you have a power button here on the side, and you can't really tell because it's super bright out here, but uh, red LEDs in the front, red in the back, they're really, really bright. Uh, the, the body, the chassis here is uh, translucent, so it, it lights up the, uh, the body. Uh, so I, that's another reason why I really, really like it, because I like uh, flying at night, and this one uh, lights up really, really nicely. So it, it does have a proprietary battery. Uh, it's a 3.7 volt, 520 milliamp hour battery, and it's a pretty compact battery for that uh, that level of amp amp amperage. <laughs> I think I said that right. Uh, but the good thing about it is you get two, so you get two of these batteries. Now you can charge the battery from here. It, uh, the quad comes with a micro USB cable, so you can just charge it right from here or you can take the battery out and charge it individually like this as well so if you have two of those micro USB cables you can charge both batteries at the same time and as it's charging this green light there there will, there will be a green light here solid green light and when it goes out that means the battery is fully charged alright so I think that's really awesome that you get two of these batteries uh, I think this quad is priced at about 40 bucks, $42 I think it is right now. Prices fluctuate so it could change, but last time I checked it was about 42 bucks. And then uh, it has these padded uh, landing feet here, so if you're flying indoors, you know, landings will be pretty, pretty cushioned I guess. Uh, but yeah man, I really like this thing, I like the way it looks, I like the way the, the build feels. Not too heavy, not too light. Uh, but it feels like it, it'll take a, a beating. It feel like, feels like it'll be durable. And you've got these prop guards here, which are pretty uh, malleable as well. So, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the controller now. The controller feels really good in the hands. I really like the way it feels. And it comes with this built-in uh, smartphone mount, which will accommodate pretty much any size phone. I have an iPhone 6S Plus, and it fits that no trouble. Uh, so that's cool and the left trigger button here this is going to start your motors 
it doesn't auto take off you'll have to start the motors and then give it throttle but it will auto land so you push that button again and it will auto land if you hold the button down for three seconds it will um, stop the motor so that's your emergency stop the right trigger button is how you take a photo you uh, hold the button down in order to take video and let me actually show you this so let's power the quad on here briefly you don't want to use up too much of that battery okay so when you take a picture you'll see the red light flash here when you go to record video that light will be solid and the great thing about this quad is uh, you don't have to be connected to the app to record video or take pictures. You can just snap away here right from the uh, controller whether you're connected to Wi-Fi or not. So I think that's great. I think all quads, Wi-Fi, FPV quads and, and those that are like it uh, should have that uh, functionality. Push up here on this button here and uh, that will uh, enter headless mode. Push down, that's one key return. All right, that's pretty much it, I think. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get it in the air. Let's check flight time, flight performance, uh, do some flips, uh, and um, take it from there. there. You go. Okay, so we are connected to the uh, app, and we're ready to launch. Uh, as you can see, I've got the quad on my fancy uh, launch pad there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start recording right now. Actually, I'm going to take a couple pictures. And I think you can actually take pictures while you're recording. So let's go ahead and test that. I'm recording the screen, so we'll have video no, no, uh, nonetheless. Let's go ahead and start the motors and launch off in the air. We are in the low rate. It is a bit windy, so I'm going to go on up to a higher rate. Now, the yaw rate doesn't really change at all. It's a pretty slow yaw, which is why this one isn't uh, as much of a sporty flyer uh, as you might think uh, but it, it flies around pretty zippy but as you can see it's not pitching forward that much which leads me to believe that the intention for this one is to be more of a camera flyer okay all right I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture here And you can hear from the app that camera sound when you push the button. All right, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start the video camera. All right, we are recording. All right, let's go ahead and try a flip. Okay, it did lose uh, quite a bit of altitude on that flip. Let's try another one. Yep, but it goes back up. But you are going to lose some altitude on those flips. Uh, altitude hold is working pretty well. Again, it doesn't pitch forward. The pitch angle isn't as deep, so it'll probably maintain its uh, altitude pretty well. All right, I'm going to slow it down. And that video, man, the, the video looks really, really good to me. The feed is, is nice and clear. I'm using kind of a smaller phone. I'm using this Android so I can uh, record the screen. All right, let's go ahead and test one key return now. When we launched off, the quad was facing this way, so it should return back on that same heading. Let's try it. We're going to push down on the button here. There it comes. All right, that works. That definitely works. Now let's try headless mode, pushing up, and we're yawing, pushing forward, pushing left, pushing back, pushing right, pushing forward again. Headless mode works perfectly, and as you can see, the lights blink, the LED lights blink while, uh, while you're in headless mode. So let's get out of there, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the video just to make sure we have some video and uh, I'm gonna take a little selfie here why not let's take a selfie come on back here the winds trying to carry my quad away got the flight clock going so we'll be testing flight time as well it's a bit windy so I'm gonna have to manage this a little bit take a picture I'm likely not smiling because I'm trying to take the picture, talk, do the video, and all that and at the same time. Alright. 
Anyway, I'm going to start the video camera once again. And you know what I'm going to do? I am going to go down to the medium rate. Only because I want to see what kind of video I can get. I'm going to take it up a little bit, not too high. I'm not going to be testing range here today because it's quite a bit of wind. Now what I might do, if uh, yeah, I think I will go ahead uh, with the second battery, I'll go ahead and test what happens when the quad loses connection with the controller. And as you can see, I can't even get this back because of the wind. Let me, let me go up to the high rate, get a little more pitch so I can come on back. So it's fighting it some. So yeah, keep that in mind. Um, this one is good for backyard and indoors. But I like it. I really, really like this quad. You know, I'm really into aerial photography and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm into the big boy drones, you know, if you will. Uh, I'm actually saving right now for a Phantom or something equivalent to that because I'm looking for, uh, you know, more professional quality. Uh, but, you know, just to play around with something like this that has a little camera on it, it's cool, man. Now, the, uh, the prop guards do show up in the video. Uh, but again, you can't take those off. Uh-oh, don't fly into the tree. <laughs> okay, flying against the wind now. Fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it. Okay, let me bring it back so you can see it. I don't think I've gotten a shot yet, close-up shot of it flying yet, so let's do that. Come on back. All right, there's the quad. There it is. Okay, I think we are at our LVC, yes. The lights are flashing. So I don't know, maybe about a four minute uh, flight, give or take. Try taking a picture. Yep, and you can take pictures while you are filming video. That's great. Makes it really easy. <laughs> not super fast guys but that's okay for what it is I like it man I really like it that video feed looks really good I know I keep saying that but it does let me see if I can take a picture of this tree before we run out of battery, take another one. And how about a picture of the goal post here? There we go. And we'll just fly it around some more until the battery dies. And I think we're almost there. Getting low now. Fighting that wind. See that? There we go, and we are landing. All right. So that's your flight time. Uh, not super long, um, but uh, again, you get two. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the other battery in. Let me stop the camera. Make sure we've got that video. Right. You go. Okay, one thing I did forget to mention is to reset the gyros, you're going to come down and to the left. And I believe to reset headless mode, it's down to the right. And you'll see the LEDs flash. I want to test the uh, auto land. So let's do that. So pushing the left trigger button. And we're landing. And I got it on the launch pad. How about that? <laughs> okay, so we're checking out these LEDs. It's a little bit darker out here. So hopefully that's coming through, how bright those are. That's the bottom. This is the top. Okay, and it's a lot less windy here today, so you can see how stable of a quad this is as well. See that? Altitude hole works perfect. Keeps its altitude even with full pitch. Whoops.
All right. <laughs> I like it. I like this one. Look at that. Look at that. We like quadcopters with bright LEDs. We like them a lot. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at what happens when the quadcopter flies out of range or just loses connection with the uh, controller. All right, so we're going to shut it off now. The LEDs start to blink and it starts to land. Oh, that was maybe three or four seconds. So I think that's excellent. Let's go ahead and turn the controller back on. Bind it, and we're back bound. All right, well, <laughs> that's my review, you guys, of the uh, HeliCute Wave Razor. Uh, I really like this one. I think it's priced well. I think it flies well. I think the video footage is decent for what it is uh, so yeah if you like the video like the video and uh, if you're not subscribed please consider doing so I would really appreciate having you aboard and if you know anybody that might uh, like this video go ahead and share it with them and until we meet again be good to somebody and be good to yourself later.